kinds of innovation is leveraging resources in new ways. Every company has skills and assets that it could stretch into new opportunities. Think about the way these three companies in China have stretched into all kinds of new opportunities. And uh, there are many examples of companies that are doing that. Most companies don't do that. Most companies define themselves by what they do rather than by what they know or what they own. And so what I want you to do is ask yourself, what core competencies could we transfer to new opportunities? Or could we exploit our strategic assets in new ways to bring new value to customers? Think about the way Tesla's moved now out of transportation into sustainable energy. Um, TCL doing similar. Big data is a wonderful asset, of course, one of the most powerful assets you have. Yet, data is the most or one of the most underutilized assets in most organizations. A recent study from PwC found that two-thirds of executives said that decision-making is only somewhat or rarely data-driven. Yet we have fantastic examples around the world of companies that are using data in a very powerful way to drive their business model and give them a competitive advantage. We now have sensors that you can put everywhere we heard about GE, well, Rolls-Royce is doing something similar with their engine that enables in-flight uh, engine health monitoring. In fact, Rolls-Royce today is more of a service company than an engine provider. 60% of their revenue comes out of services now. So all that analytics. Caterpillar Trucks, I was with them two weeks ago doing the same thing with their fleet management. They enable you to generate a whole bunch of data around how the, the vehicles are being used. We have insurance that's based on the usage of your car. We have Tesla that's basically pulling in all of this data every day. Tesla has 700 million miles of driving data, and they add another million more every 10 hours. And that's teaching the car how to understand the road better than it did before. RFID is being used in all kinds of new ways, not just for retail and logistics and shipping, but Disney, for example, with the Magic Band, the Magic Band is now your ticket of entry to the theme park. You use it for cashless payment in the restaurants and the stores. Um, it tells them who you are. For example, the customer experience changes because now Mickey Mouse walks up to me and says, Happy birthday, Rowan. They know that it's my birthday because I'm wearing that Magic Band. But think about the data that that's giving to Disney about who's in the park and where they're going and which rides are the most preferred, and what they're buying, and what they're eating, and so on. So Disney has a really uh, effective strategy around digital transformation with four vectors. Driving operational efficiency, transforming the customer experience, increasing personalization, and enhancing interactivity across channels. So we can now, we, we, we basically understand what people are doing at every moment of their lives because they're digitally connected. And that enables us to hyper-personalize our services uh, across all kinds of platforms. We also get the chance to leverage other people's competencies and assets. If you think about all those apps out there, how many of the apps on the Apple App Store or on Google Play are made by Apple or made by Google? None of them. All of those apps are made by third-party suppliers, so they're tapping into an ecosystem of other people's skills and assets. And that's what we're finding today more and more in all kinds of industries. I talked about the automobile industry. If you're gonna move to a digital car, then you have to move beyond the traditional ecosystem of suppliers. It was, used to be people that supplied the tires and the windscreen and the gearbox and so on. Now we talk about a new ecosystem around connected vehicles, engine efficiency, vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication, and so on. So it's about moving beyond the traditional value chain into this new digital value chain. 